Hi guys, so last week we discussed uh, about my, my greatest struggle, mm -hmm. the challenge that I had to go through. Uh, so for today, we're gonna ask Chex naman. Honey, what has been your biggest challenge or obstacle in your life? My, I have two biggest challenges in my life. So one when I was younger and the other one uh, ha just happened recently. So Han, you mentioned that uh, you had a challenge when you were younger and then uh, a, more, a more recent one. Mm -hmm. But during this uh, time of your younger years, how old were you and what happened? So I was about um, 11 years old and oh, that's when it's my... Like Scarlet's age. Yeah. And that's when my parents separated so um, that was a very um, hard time in our lives because it's never easy when your parents are separating mm -hmm. and at that time naman parang it was not really talked about so I didn't know any of my friends at that time whose parents were also separating mm -hmm. So that was hard. You're still, you're still young, eh? Parang how, how do you accept the situation? How do you accept that this will be the new setup in mm. your in your home? Yeah. And there's nothing like having both parents around. So it's the loneliness of not having to see them together and having to miss the other that's not staying in the house. Mm -mm. So that's very difficult, the ba? Because you love both of your parents and. You o you only wish the best. Did it affect like your um, your outlook in life? For me, I I do I can't speak for everybody, but for me, it matured me. Mm -hmm. I felt like you know I had to um, learn how to toughen myself up. Mm -hmm. I need to show that I was um, I was in control at such mm -hmm. a young age, but at that time I couldn't put those things to words and. Um, of course, it made me cry also because I couldn't understand the situation and oh, why couldn't it work out? Mm. Wishing that it would be a different, you know, scenario. And then when you see your 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 friends and their family are complete, parang mm. you long for that, mm -hmm. but you don't wanna say it because you're ka. So may mga ganon na, na parang I, I I would I'd feel that no. So. Um what lesson did you learn coming out of this whole ordeal? Well, you know, I uh, to every parent, to every parent out there, there will always be something that will break your children, mm. okay? But that brokenness doesn't have to be. So for me, yes, it broke me in 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 many ways, in different ways. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, um, it also toughened me up in a way wherein. It trained me to see the good in an unfavorable situation. I don't know how I was mm -hmm. able to figure it out mm -hmm. at 11, 12, 13 years old. You I don't know. Yeah. But then, um, I guess also seeing a tough mom helped me. Mm -hmm. And a mom also who was open. And also at the same time, she didn't make it difficult for her children for us to have a relationship even with our dad. So. Mm -hmm. That was a good thing. Parang whatever relationship we have with our dad is a relationship with our dad. Separate. Whatever relationship with, we have with our mom is there. our relationship with our mom. Mm -mm. So with that, it made me think, okay, even if my mom and my dad can't be together, at least I still both have them. They're still yeah. alive. They're both present. And I think that's what I celebrated. What can I hold on to? So mm -hmm. I held on to the things that were good and that actually made me become the person that I am today. There was one time when um, my, I woke up and then I just missed my family. So mm. I cried. I really cried. I said, God, one day if I have a family, please mm. give me a complete family. I remember you told me that. Yeah. And I said, I I'll, I'll try to be as good as I can. Just mm -hmm. give me a good family. And when I have a good family, I promise you, I'm going to take care of it. Mm -hmm. But give me a good family. I remember, honey, when you told me that na parang you were crying 
and you said that one day I hope that God would bless me with a family. Yeah. Yes, and for I I remember that, and and I think that speaks of how you've been able to cope and and make it right here, de ba? We yeah. don't know what the future hold holds, but we work on our marriage every single day, yeah, de ba? And. Um, it's constant, constant working. Yeah. So, you know, I'm so thankful because, you know, when I was thinking of a complete family, I just had complete family, what I know, what mm, what I pictured in your, my head. What the concept of was before, what it was yeah, before. Yeah, parang complete. Complete, nandiyan oh, yung mom, nandiyan yung dad, nandiyan yung true. kapatid. Kasi yun lang yung alam ko, ba? But that's then, right. I was very general with my with my prayer, but God made it specific for me. Okay, I'll give you a family. Uh, the family that I know that you will like. Yeah. But then, I also realized that just because your parents uh, went through a separation, just because you come from a broken family, it doesn't mean that you have to go through the same thing. Yeah. We all have a choice later on in life. You know, the, the, the yeah, things of the past, the examples that you saw or the examples you didn't see, they don't have to define how your family life has to be because we all have a choice. And I really told the Lord when Doug and I got married, Lord, I will obey you. Just show me how, how you want me, what kind of wife and what kind of mother you want me to be. Yeah. And, uh, no, and I will glorify you and I'm going to make sure that my children will see that reflection of you in our family. Yeah. Truly, there's a responsibility. When God blesses you with a family, you take care of it. You don't take yeah. it for granted. Yeah, and I think that would be the best lesson you can share to everyone, diba? Right? Yeah, it's right, always right? going to be challenges, yes. but you know, you don't just give up easily. Is there any any scripture in mind? I do. That will Actu- help you. For me, it would have to be Hebrews twelve eleven. Mm-hmm. It goes, "No discipline seems pleasant at the mm-hmm. time, but painful. Yes, painful. However, it produces." A harvest of righteousness and peace for those who have been trained by it. Yes. So, while maybe that separation of my parents was not exactly the best thing ever, but then it has harvested a whole new appreciation. And we're the beneficiaries. Yeah, of <laughs> what a family should be like, mm-hmm. how, um, how one should continue to persevere, and one should be always, you know, fighting for it. Yeah. Whether there there are, you know, situations that are obviously you're fighting for, or yes. or daily struggles that yeah. you have to keep persevering, the yeah. So for me, it has yeah. produced really something there. Like yes. the discipline there has been really good for me. Yes, and uh, we are yeah, turning 16, 16 years married now, but uh, going 21 years now pretty soon as a boyfriend girlfriend Mm-mm. and married. So. Um, yeah, there's there's no secret to it, guys. It's constant working on it and facing challenges and obstacles together as a family. Yeah, ba, but then you know, honey, as what I said, you know, our 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 lives are not excluded from discipline and struggles. Yeah. And I think every year we go through something. It's just that there are just some things that we don't talk about in social yeah. media, also yeah. that we choose to keep to ourselves yes. but there's one that has happened recently which we are gonna talk about on the next episode so abangan nyo yan guys and we will be talking about this struggle which actually checks things it's hers but it's actually something that is shared between the two of us and your children so, abangan nyo yan guys mm-hmm.